This was an important week uh, in Washington because the president has submitted his proposed budget uh, for the new year. That is the year that begins on October 1 of 2009 and continues for the next 12 months. Uh, this president, President Obama, has chosen three areas to put great priority on, great emphasis on. That is improving education. Uh, secondly, reforming our health care system. Uh, and third, uh, uh, meeting our energy needs. Uh, and I think uh, the budget reflects those priorities. Uh, uh, I'm optimistic that we can take his proposals in this regard and, uh, and do some important things this year to, to address each of these issues. With regard to education, of course, uh, we all know about the uh, challenge we have in upgrading the quality of our educational system, upgrading uh, standards in teaching, uh, and at the same time uh, uh, reducing the dropout rate. Way too many of our young people leave school without graduating. In the case of health care reform, we have to control the growth in costs of health care reform, and there are proposals in this budget to do that. Uh, we also have to find ways to expand health care coverage to more of our citizens. Uh, and of course, in the case of energy, uh, we have to move uh, uh, more toward a clean energy uh, environment. We need to find ways to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. The president's budget, again, has proposals uh, that will help us to do that. So I'm optimistic that uh, we can make progress on each of these important issues as part of the debate uh, that will follow this budget proposal and that will result in, in legislation going to the president for signature later this year.